Fu Kin Yap is Senior Investment Strategist at Standard Chartered Bank. He's joining us now to take some questions. Fu, great to have you with us here. Thank you for your time. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure if you watched closely what happened yesterday. I mean, the market uh, shook out, especially in the broader markets, in a pretty large way. 4% fall in the broader market. That's small cap index, mid cap index, and of course, uh, the PSU space as well. Uh, if you did, I mean, do you, do you think there is more to go here? What's the view? To, to, to be honest, I did not watch it very closely. Uh, but I can say that uh, within our India strategy outlook, I mean, we are, India is a very core holding for us. Uh, what our preference is, is with the large caps uh, in India. Uh, we think it has a higher margin of safety. And uh, that is actually reflected in our sector strategy as well. And we have a bit of a, a barbell approach when uh, on the one hand, we like your cyclical sectors like industrial and discretionary, but then uh, on the other hand, we also want to balance it uh, with healthcare, which is a bit more of a defensive approach. So, yeah, our, our preference is still with the large caps uh, th th this year. All right, preference is still with the large caps. Uh, Fook, uh, in the Indian market, there is a wave of profit-taking or a sell-off that you're seeing after a massive rally that this market has had over the last many weeks and months. What is the best way to approach the market now? Sit on cash levels, book your profits, or would you continue to buy the dip? No, I think we do uh, think that equities and bonds uh, will deliver better returns than cash this year. Uh, so cash has its place, but we think that, you know, with the wind that's blowing uh, behind equities and bonds, uh, we do think uh, we would be uh, more underweight in terms of your cash allocation at the moment. I mean, with the equities, we think earnings will continue to be uh, positive and economic growth in India. That's positive to stay invested over time. And with the bonds, especially in the medium to longer term, uh, bonds, we think they are more attractive. They can deliver better returns than cash because, I mean, cash yields are attractive compared to historical levels. But if you look at bonds and where we expect uh, bond yields to come down uh, steadily uh, over the rest of the year, we think that will be beneficial, especially for medium to long term bonds. And that's why uh, we do think that bonds can outperform cash. So it, it is really a situation where we look at uh, some kind of correction, it'll be an opportunities to buy. And uh, we see that as well, actually not just in India, but in the US as well. We do see mm. some technical indicators showing slightly overbought. So we would trim some of our allocations, uh, take profit of the gains year to date, but still maintain an overweight position uh, because we still do like global equities, still do like uh, US equities and, and India as well. Yeah. All right. Hi, Fook. Uh, good morning, Fook. But on India, I think... Uh... Between India and the United States, I think your preference is towards more developed markets in the Japanese market, the United States, and then India, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. So India is with, as a core holding within uh, Asia and Japan, but because we are overweight on global equities, so uh, India would be part of that. All right. Uh, uh, but in terms of the there. preference, yeah, our preference is with US and Japan. Uh, and then within Asia and uh, Japan, our preference is for, for Korea at the moment. All right. Uh, we'll, uh, we got that. Thank you very much for joining us, folks. It's a pleasure having you with us here on CNBC TV 18. Thanks indeed.